Hi, I'm Annette Langford, the executive producer of The Real Praise. Today we have a special guest with us today, Dwight Smith. How are you today? Well, you're doing great. That's wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you for being a guest on The Real Praise. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm a student at Temple my last year. Um, I'm a visual anthropologist. The way I got into anthropology was... Um, I was like 18 years old, okay. and um, I was on the subway, and I was just sitting there, and um, an old man came up, okay. and he just started talking about history, and did you know this, did you know that, did you know this? So I'm like, uh, well, no, nah, I didn't know that, so okay. what he said started really intriguing me. Wonderful. So I started going to the library, research, and I said, you know what, I like anthropology and history, so, and then... It's on the spiritual side of it, Wonderful. I met a woman, uh, a friend of my mother's. Okay. She was uh, some kind of prophetess or something. Wonderful. And she told me she could see a camera in my hand. This was, I guess, like 20 years ago. So she prophesied that. I see a camera in your hand. I said, what is she talking about? Right. Now? But here we go. These years, 20 years later, it came to pass. I wasn't even thinking about religion at all. I was just a regular kid playing uh, Nintendo. And, okay. And she said, I see a camera in your hand. And it went over my head back then, but right. it stuck in my mind. So after it came to fruition, like, how did that make you feel? Did it take you back to that moment? Me and my friend laugh about it. We, we laugh about it right now and her. We get together, we laugh about it now. I said, well, your prophecy came true. And she just laughed. Tell mm -hmm. our viewers... After this young lady prophesied that she sees a camera in your hand, mm -hmm. once it came to pass, mm -hmm. how was your perspective on the overall perspective of uh, religion? Her prophecy was on, it was on, on point. point. She's seen it. I mean, I can't deny it because I wasn't even thinking about it. Okay. And the anthropology and, and the video together. Yes. It was, I mean... I can't describe it. I mean, it's not a coincidence. Absolutely. And I'm glad that you made that statement, too, mm -hmm. uh, Dwight. Nothing happens by chance. Mm -hmm. I believe personally that we're all here for a purpose, a calling, and God gives each of us the opportunity to seek that out. And as an example, sometimes he places people in our path to open up the doorway, mm -hmm. and it's up to us if we're going to embrace it or reject it. And as you stated, you kind of like... Yeah, right, you know, mm -hmm. but it is so rewarding to know that when people say things, because you don't want people, anybody just speaking things into your life, mm -hmm. but just the whole idea that it all came to pass, mm -hmm. I think that is so rewarding. Dwight, are there any words of encouragement you would like to leave with our viewers? Well, a couple. Uh, stay in the Bible and... Don't let nobody else talk you out of what you want to do or call you a weirdo or say, that's weird. Just stick with you, stick with what you like. Uh, let nobody divert the direction. Right. It's important. Or, or talk you out of your direction. And stay in that Bible, that's the main thing. Dwight, we want to thank you so very much for those encouraging words. And I, I just wanted to add a little to what you said. It is important to read the Word of God. It'll give you balance. It'll keep you focused. And it'll also give you the strength to know that whatever you're embarking on, you can do it. Remember, you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Dwight, we want to thank you for being on The Real well, thanks Praise. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Mm. There you have it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.